Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different on the channel. Today we're actually going to be reviewing something that I have very mixed opinions with and that is the Razer Ripsol uh, capture card. I've had this capture card for around two years now, but um, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this today. I personally am a big fan of Razer products. I even have a Razer sticker on my uh, computer that I'm getting rid of soon, but I have a Razer, uh, Razer keyboard. I don't have a Razer mouse, but um, I am a big fan of Razer products. So I just wanted to do a quick review. Now, first of all, before I start this video, I just want to say this is the older model of the Razer Ripsol. There is a newer model that runs around 4K video. This is not that one, but everything I'm going to show you guys in this video is exactly the same, other than the fact that I can't record at 4K. So just keep that in mind when I'm going through this. And uh, first off, I'm going to show you how to set this one up. Uh, second thing, I'm going to show you how to fix an audio bug that I uh, constantly run into. And uh, third thing, I'm going to show you uh, uh, how to set it up on OBS. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you all enjoy this video, and let's get straight into it. Now, first, let's start off with basically how it works. So the first thing you're going to notice is over here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this too well, but right there, that is the power cable that goes down and into the PC. I think this is the power cable. Um, if you guys are doing any sorts of cable management, these are a little bit of something to worry about. Obviously, it wasn't a problem to me because I'm using tie wraps right now. But uh, yeah, it might be a problem. Um, it's decently big, not too big though, so it really shouldn't be too much of an issue. There's also one on this side. Uh, but that plugs in very good there. Um, there's a nice green light every time it's on and a red light every time it is not active when your computer's on. And then over here we have, it looks like a aux um, port right there and then a mic port right there, just in case you guys wanna do that. I personally don't use that. I just use my microphone jack right there on my computer. But there is one if needed. Uh, you can play something like music. Uh, you know, you can plug in your mic, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's what the ports are on here. There's also obviously the um, basic HDMI in and HDMI out as well. Like I said, I really don't want to go and rip up my whole setup right now, but I will show you guys something through the Wii U. So I was playing a little bit of Super Mario 3D World uh, because the new release is supposed to be coming out soon. So I'll boot that up real quick. And let me just grab my remote and change the HDMI on my television. And you can see the quality of how it um, outputs onto the TV. It outputs pretty much exactly the same as a normal HDMI would from the console to the TV screen. Obviously, there we go. So it is going from here to the Razer Ripsaw capture card and straight to the TV. Audio is perfectly clear through my soundbar. Um, and everything is sounding perfectly fine as if you were using a regular HDMI, as I said. Um, and yeah, if you guys were wondering how the output works, that's pretty much how the output works. It works perfectly fine. And now let's show you guys what OBS is going to be looking like and how to set it up on OBS. I also wanna say just before I continue the review that through Razer Synapse, you cannot access the capture card, at least the one I have as of right now. So basically what that means is you will not be able to change the lighting in any which way of this capture card. Now this shouldn't be too much of an issue to most people. I just wanted to put that out there. I am able to change the uh, color of this keyboard through the chroma lighting right there. But obviously this capture card does not support that. Just letting you guys know. It shouldn't be much of a big deal, um, but just letting you guys know, just as a heads up. Okay guys, now that I'm on OBS, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to set this up. It's a very, very simple setup, or simple setup, sorry. And um, if you guys want to, or if you guys know about OBS, it's gonna be very, very easy for you. So just go down here where it says sources and then go and hit the plus, obviously. Go to video capture options or whatever, I don't know what it said. Uh, something, video capture device, and then hit okay. And you should get a screen right here. And then your Razer Ripsaw option when plugged in and lit up green should pop up right there. Um, where it says device. Now I'm not gonna do that, but um, yeah, discard, discard. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it'll look like. That's all you have to do. And then you frame it out perfectly. Uh, just turn dark because he's been sitting. But uh, yeah, you just gotta frame it out with this, um, you know, size it whichever way you want. If you want it small, big, obviously that's OBS. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to use OBS, but that is how you do that. 
Now the next portion of this video and the last portion of this video is the fact that there is an audio bug, a very, very recent audio bug that has been happening with lots of Razor, Kip or Razor Ripsaw capture cards recently. So I'm gonna show you guys what that will sound like before if you guys have the same issue, and then I'll show you guys how to fix it. So this is the issue that I've been encountering, and this is what it should sound like if it is messed up, and I'll uh, show you guys that right now. There you go. <laughs> Unless it just won't work. But um, yeah, so there you go. And it should come through very badly. Now let me mute my TV and just hear it too well. But there is a audio issue and it does sound pretty bad um as you guys can hear but um yeah let me put that back to device only turn this back on so yeah that is a very bad audio bug i'm very disappointed i was very disappointed to see that but now i'm going to be showing you guys how to fix it so what you're going to want to do to fix this issue if you have this issue is you're going to want to go and download this thing from razor it is an application from razor it is called, hold on, let, me let it load up. My computer is so slow, this is why I'm getting a new one soon. But um, it is called, oh wait, okay, there we go. Uh, it is called THX Spital Audio. It is Razer um, qualified. They, they made this, I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but uh, you're gonna wanna download this and then go over to where it says Application Mixer and change OBS Studio to THX Spital Audio. And uh, there was some sort of error in the audio up here because I have this USB that connects to this and it thinks it's an audio device, but it doesn't, or it isn't. So um, you're gonna wanna change your output device to your normal output device you use for your computer, whether that's speakers or anything else. And you will start off with a 15 day free trial. This is the only unfortunate thing. You do have to spend $20 to fix this bug. But once again, this does not happen ever pretty much with the Razer Ripsaw. It occasionally happens to some people, but trust me, especially with the new Razer Ripsaws, this should not be an issue for you whatsoever. Now, one other thing I want to mention is when you want your Razer Ripsaw audio of the game you are playing, not only to go through your recording, but through your stream. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the easy way, and then second of all, I'm going to show you the way you do it when your computer has the bug I was just talking about. So you're going to want to go over here and select your device and go down all the way to the bottom to audio output mode and select this and change it to uh, yeah output desktop audio direct sound. Now that should fix, um, or not fix, that should uh, be fine for anyone that does not have the bug, but if you do have the bug, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this now. So what you're gonna wanna do if you do have the bug is you're gonna wanna go to your audio device in the audio mixer option and go down to the options little um, icon. Then you're going to want to go to Advanced Property Audio and want to go to Audio Monitoring and go down to uh, your audio or video capture device that you're using and go over to Audio Monitoring and change this to Monitor and Output. So once you change that to, to uh, <laughs> sorry, once you change that to Audio uh, and Output or Monitor and Output, whatever the heck it's called, um, your audio should come out clear as day. Here, I'll turn it up for you guys a little bit clear as day um that's pretty much how you would want your computer and game to sound when you're recording videos uh but once again that's only if you have this bug it's very rare for the razor ripsaw and uh yeah my overall experience with this capture card has been actually surprisingly amazing uh there's only been a couple flaws which i want to list out i want to list out the cons and the pros so the pros of this device first of all it's very sleek it is a nice design um, very, very simple to use, um, it, to set up, it takes minutes, uh, you just gotta install one thing called Razer Synapse, uh, the 2.0 version, I think, uh, it's very, very easy to use. Third thing, to be honest, the video quality and audio quality when you don't have the bug are insane. Now, I'm saying, like, it's probably one of the best ones you get out there, uh, right above, or maybe below, I'm not exactly sure, the Elgato 60, or HD60S. Um, but the only fortunate thing about this one in particular is that it can record at 4K. So I'd say that's an amazing pro to this. Uh, one con I would say is that the green light on there has to stay green no matter what you do. You could probably fix it by putting a piece of electrical tape or something over that if you really don't want the green light. 
but personally I like it because my PC I'm going to be getting is actually green, so I think it's going to look really good. I have the backlight is green, the keyboard's going to be green, and everything's going to be green, so I hope that looks great. But that might be a flaw for some people. Second thing is the audio bug. I don't know if you guys, you know, I mean, I basically already told you to fix, but if you don't feel like spending an extra $20 on top of your capture card that you're going to be buying, then, I mean, it's up to you, but I, don't, I really feel like $20 extra, even maybe if you get the bug, is worth it for what you're getting with this capture card. The price point is very good. Uh, I think it comes around $150 to $170. I'm not exactly sure. I'll put the price up on uh, the screen. Or, you know what, I'll actually just link the um, Razer Ripsaw, if you guys want to buy it, in the description, along with the audio fix, uh, if you guys want to get that as well. But yes, I would highly recommend the Razer Ripsaw. It is an amazing capture card, especially for starter users. Um, I would highly suggest it. I know it is a little bit um, pricey, but I feel like it is great. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, I've been wanting to make this for a while. It is a very on and off product. One other con I would like to say though, is their services. Their services are kind of slow, I guess you could say. Uh, I know a lot of people have been having issues with that. Their services are pretty slow. So if you're looking to have a lot of issues with the device or you just need to ask a lot of questions, Razer would 100% not be the way to go. And by the way, if you guys have any questions about the Razer Ripsaw, please leave them down in the comments. I can answer anything. I've had this capture card for so many years now that I've gone through every issue and uh, it's been it's been a pretty great experience, not gonna lie. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye guys.